for today's video will be talking about Mayuno. This is the microphone here that I am using to record my voice. The microphone was given to me by Mayuno last May 2022. So it was shipped through Shopee. And so if you're wondering, sino nga ba si Mayuno? Anong klaseng brand ba siya? If you search over the internet, you'll discover that their products are mostly on microphone and uh, audio interface. So as of now, I think it palang yung products na offer nila. Actually, uh, they focus more on uh, audio innovation or enhancement. Yan. So more on audio equipment set palang sila sa ngayon. And I think the goal of Mayuno is for us creators to be able to have a whole set of an equipment to be podcast ready and something that we can use for um, live streaming and pati na rin sa ating mga video creation. Actually, nalaman ko yung brand na Mayono mga around last year lang din since uh, nag-search kasi ako ng mga equipments like microphone, monitor speakers, and uh, headphone. And then I think kaya din ganun na yung mga sinesearch ko online. Yun yung lumabas sa Facebook wall ko. So may mga advertisements related to Mayono and nakuha niya talaga yung interest ko kasi parang sabi ko, uy, ang mura lang nung microphone. Yun yung parang, I think, budget-friendly na. So, medyo mura-mura na yun compared with other uh, brands na talaga namang pag bumili ka ng microphone, uh, hiwalay pa yung interface. Mga ganyan. Or may set na rin naman pero aabot ka ng mga around 16 to 20,000 for a whole set of microphone. So, ito yung set na nakita ko na to, yung budget-friendly set nila. <laughs> Ang presyo na lang is parang, I think, below 7,000 or 6,000. So, yun. Meron ka ng kasamang arm stand, yung microphone, yung audio interface, or parang sound card lang siya, mini sound card. And yung sound card, meron na siyang iba't ibang effects. So, good for podcast talaga siya and also live streaming. Um, so, yun. Doon ko siya nakilala and natry ko siya sa previous company ko. So, since it's pandemic, most of our events before ay naka-online na. So, syempre, paano ba ma-improve natin yung online live streaming? So, bumili ng bagong mga gamit. Yan, lalo na yung microphone. Mahalaga siya. Natry ko siya doon. And, nakita ko na kayo papano. Maganda naman yung uh, sound quality niya. So, wala naman reklamo yung mga audience namin na pangit yung sound. Siguro, depende na na talaga sa internet connection. May mga times na sabi nila mahina. Maybe because uh, doon sa controls, yan. Kung baga, pag-feed na rin talaga. Nag-matter na rin yung internet connection, I think. So, yan. Uh, for about 6,000 or 7,000, meron ka ng one whole set. So, it's really a good way to start if may interest ka for um, yan, podcast, live streaming, or any type of video creation na din talaga. Somehow, parang high-end na rin yung dating niya kasi malinis naman yung napaproduce na itong quality. Yung sound quality. For sure, you're wondering, ano naman tong microphone na gamit ko ngayon? So, I think ito yung mga medyo uh, high-end type ng microphone na meron sila ngayon. Since meron silang budget-friendly, meron din silang kahit papano, medyo mahal. So, ito si PM500T. May dami pa siyang type, pero I think nagmamatter lang yun kung ano yung type na equipment na makukuha mo yung set ng equipment. So, si 500T, may kasama siya na parang small stand. Talagang for podcast yung dating niya. Tapos, uh, meron yung 500S ata and 500U. So, hindi ko familiar. Pero yun, uh, pinagkakaiba lang nila. Yung iba, walang kasamang stand. Yung iba, yung microphone lang. Parang ganun. So, may mga sets na rin siya. So, si 500T, ang price niya is around 5,700 to 5,900. So, if you're interested, I have the link down below. So, yun, through shop pwede kayo mag-order sa kanya through Shopee. So, yun. Ang kagandahan lang din doon kapag mag-order kayo sa Shopee, pwede nyo siya makuha ng mas below pa sa price na sinabi ko, which is 5.9 or 5.7. Since pwede kayong gumamit ng mga vouchers. So, yun to get discounts. Yun nga lang yung microphone na to. Wala siyang kasamang sound card or interface. So, kailangan mo pang bumili ng separate nun. Pero may in-offer din si Mayono na ganun, which is, um, ang price range is nasa 3,000 to 5,000, I think. So, yun, medyo mahali nga lang kasi parang, ito, nasa 5,8, 5,9 na nga siya. So, separate pa yung 3 to 5K na yun para mapagana mo siya since it's an XLR type of microphone. So, hindi siya yung USB type, which is mas maganda. Alam ko, mas okay talaga 
pagang microphone mo is yung XL, the XLR cable. Yan, tapos papadaan mo to audio interface and then USB. Actually, ito nagamit ko na to sa previous vlog ko, which is yung coffee date vlog ko. Yan, kung gusto nyo panoodin. Um, yun yung ginamit kong pang voiceover. So, kung mapapansin nyo doon, try nyo panoorin yung vlog, mapakinggan nyo yung sound quality ng voiceover ko doon. Um, clear naman siya. Very high-end quality. Akala mo, na-record siya using a high-end type of microphone. Kasi sobrang malinis naman yung tunog niya. So, wala naman ako nakitang problem dun sa microphone. And, uh, ngayon, siguro mapapansin nyo lang, medyo may konting background noise um, compared with doon sa ginamit ko for the vlog na type ng voiceover. Kasi doon, medyo malinis talaga yun. As in, parang wala kang malinig na background noise. And syempre, yung goal talaga dito, since hindi naman ako nagpa-podcast, nag-livestream, or anything that will use my voice, unless na nag-vlog talaga ako, itatry ko naman siyang gamitin with my violin. So, yun, itatatry natin si PM500 T to record my um, violin. So, I'll try to make a violin cover which will be uploaded after this uh, vlog, a week after this vlog. So, yun, intayin nyo yun kasi malaman nyo uh, kung ano yung difference naman pagka-instrument ang ginamit mo. So, string instrument. So, I'm not sure with other type of instruments yet. Pero at least yun, kakaroon kayo ng idea pag ginamit naman siya to record with an instrument. So, you, you be the judge kung talagang okay na microphone si Mayono. So, after recording my violin using this microphone, ang napansin ko lang naman sa kanya is medyo mahina yung pag-capture niya ng sound. Uh, ima uh, imagine that's already an instrument. So, mas malakas pa siya sa boses ko, di ba? So, ayun, medyo mababa, mababa, what I mean, maliit yung sound waves na napaproduce niya. So, it means mahina. So, yung gain sa previous microphone ko na ginagamit with my uh, cover, um, ang gain lang nun nasa gitna. Pero malakas na yung nakaka-capture niya with my instrument. So, ito, pag ito ang gamit ko, siguro yung mga slightly around 75%, I think, or 70% ng gain ang ginagamit ko para lang makapture niya kahit paano ng malakas yung sound ng violin. And I think, I don't know if it really does affect yung sound quality nung um, ni-record ko, pero maganda pa rin na mat mayos ang nakuha kong result. And I think may advantage din yun na medyo mahina yung pag-capture niya since hindi lahat ng background noises na kukuha niya. And doon siya nakafocus sa instrument ko. So mostly kapag ka, nag-play na ako, kahit may konting ingay pa sa paligid, although naka-electric fan pa ako noon, pero hindi nakatutok sa mic, like sa body area ko lang kasi nakatayo ako. Wala siya masyado nakaka-capture ni sound na as in sobrang lakas na natin niya na matilinig mo dun sa recording. Malinis pa rin yung na-produce niya. And dun mo lang i-adjust yun sa editing mo. Kung gusto mo siya pang palakasin, so walang problem. At least hindi niya na-reach agad yung sobrang lakas. Hindi siya sabog pakinggan na pag in-edit mo, hindi mo na halos magawa ng paraan. So yun naman ang kagandahan, tingin ko. Uh, kahit pa paano naging advantage yun. And since I don't know if yung sariling cable niya nakaka-apekto. Kasi parang ang, ang nakalagay dito. Ayan. High grade low. High grade low noise microphone cable. Ayan, sorry ba kung galaw-galaw siya. <laughs> okay, yun. I think baka naka-effect din siya dun sa pag-capture niya ng sound. So, yun. Ang kagandahan kahit pa paano, nagiging hindi ganun kalakas yung tunog ng instrument ko. Which is, pwede kong i-adjust ng sarili ko kapag in-edit ko na siya kung gano'n kalakas at gano'n kahina. So, yun. Kahit pa paano na-appreciate ko yun sa kanya. Kahit na hindi maano yung pag-capture niya talaga nung sound ng violin. So, yun ang naman napansin ko sa kanya. And then, the rest, wala naman ako naging problem. Hindi smooth naman yung recording and if you will watch my next cover, yun. Mapapakinggan niyo kung gano'n, parang wala naman siya difference with my, uh, previous microphone na ginagamit. And for sure, in my future covers din, gagamitin ko na rin si Mayono. 
since um ay appreciate ko din talaga yung quality niya. Maayos naman yung um nakuha ko dito na result sa pag-cover ko using my violin. So this is what it looks like when it was delivered. It comes with the free earphones when you order it from Shopee. The box contains a custom fit shock mount. And then the microphone in full metal construction. It's very durable and gives pure audio signal. And then next, it has this pop filter customized with the new design of Mayono. And of course, they also provided a high-grade, low-noise, balanced XLR cable. And lastly, this very heavy bass microphone stand. And Shempre, just to add, um, about an information with PM500P. So this one is a professional grade XLR microphone. So yun na, ni-research ko siya dun sa website. So, um, sabi dito, it is designed for vocal recording, music creation, and sound productions. So yun yung main focus niya. And it is equipped with 34mm uh, metal diaphragm condenser capsule copped with premium circuit components. So it can capture sounds so naturally and engaging. So it says also that um, it is always ideal to record a um, drum to string instruments with this microphone. So ideal din talaga siya for instruments. And yun nga, um, itong PF500, sinasabi dito, it has a 4.5 times larger capsule. So overall, for me, si PF500T, yung price niya is somehow... Um, affordable, reasonable, and com competitive naman. Uh, kaya, um, if, if you really want a, a budget-friendly with good sound quality, and yan, kaya mag-perform ng maayos, yan, dapat never natin yung sacrifice yung quality. Palaging yun yung dapat natin i-consider. So, with, it, uh, with this type of microphone na na-try ko, no, I can really assure you and totally recommend this product na bilhin nyo. If um, kaya naman siya ng budget, Yan. because it, it can really match higher end brands. So yun lang. Salamat sa pahinig and uh, I hope you considered the microphone. And um, I'm happy to share with you um, this very beautiful microphone that I am using right now. Ayan, and I will still use in the future for my, making my covers and also yan, for voice recording, um, voice over recording yan. And that's all for this vlog. So, if you're interested, you can check their website, their Shopee account. Um, ilalagay ko yung link down below. And you can research about more this product. So, try to search more videos uh, that will give you a more um, detailed review about this microphone. Para at least, mas magkaroon kayo ng idea if bibilihin nyo ba talaga siya or hindi. So, for me, it's good. And I will definitely use it uh, all my future videos pa. So, for my vlogs and also sa pag-record ng aking mga violin covers. So, maraming maraming salamat sa pagnood ng video na to. And I hope um, nagustuhan nyo rin si Mayuno. And, uh, yun lang. Thank you and hope to see you again on my next vlog. Bye!